What's up, YouTube? Rave here again, another episode of the Man Cave. So today, it's finally golf day. I've been trying for two weeks to get out and film a golf round. I guys are gonna get a lot of firsts today. First time ever filming a golf round, I've never tried this before. I got the idea from watching all the other channels that do it. Shout out to GM Golf, by the way. Love your videos, watch them all the time. Garrett, Tig, Matt, you guys ever make it up to Pennsylvania? Let's get together and play around the golf. I, I think it'd be great. You might have to give me a couple strokes, but uh, yeah, I'd love to play a match. Maybe we can do some kind of a collab or something like that. I'm not as popular as you guys, but maybe playing golf with you will help become popular. Anyway, uh, I digress. Guys, check out GM Golf. It's a great, great channel. Um, so we're out here at Tama Shanner in Hermitage, Pennsylvania. I love this course. I haven't played it since I was in my early 20s i'm now 40 so it's been a long time but i used to love this course and uh so far you know it's been turned out to be a beautiful day the weather's great so bear with me uh i got brand new clubs brand new irons that i'm trying out uh, i just bought them they're callaway apex and i have a brand new three wood made by cobra it's the cobra f9 and i've also got the f9 uh hybrid in a five five wood or five five iron whatever it might be so i've got two new cobra woods to try a hybrid and a regular fairway wood and i've got the new uh, callaway apex irons and a couple new callaway jaws wedges to try out and i will also be using my new putter grip that i just installed which is one of those super stroke uh 75 gram weighted putter putter grips so old putter, new grip, feels like a brand new club, feels amazing. Um, so that's that's it, guys. Stick with me here. Sorry if the uh, shots are a little weird because this is my first time doing this. Uh, I'm going to try my best to get good at, good angles so that you guys can see that I'm, you know, hitting the, where I'm hitting the ball. I always play fair. I don't cheat. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm out here by myself more or less today. I've got my, my girlfriend with me as the camera girl. She's the one taking the videos. So... Um, no match today, except I'll play the course. I'm not an official handicap, but if I had to give myself a handicap, I'd call myself about a 10 handicap. So if I play the course today, the course is giving me 10 strokes. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's it. Enjoy the show. I think it's up the middle. Well, let's hope that stayed out of the trees.
hard pass. It took a big bounce and went really far. Okay, guys. So, as you can see, my ball ended up, my drive ended up just a little bit right at the fairway. And I've got this little narrow tunnel to go through here to get to the green up there through the trees. Now, my new set of uh, apexes, I didn't get a 5-iron. So, I brought my old 5-iron, my uh, X20 5-iron. I'm going to use that to do a little punch shot here to see if this works out in my favor or if it just screws me up. Oh, that actually worked out okay. Right idea, almost a bad result, but it turned out okay because it did make it through. Didn't make it to the green, but I got myself a nice little chip. Sit up, sit, 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 sit. Okay, par opportunity. A little bit of a long putt. Bogey. And that's safely in the fairway. Get up, get up, baby, get up, get up. Way short. I was afraid of it. I was afraid of it because I didn't want to hit it over the green. All right. Right edge of the fairway. Still in play. Oh, I scrolled it. That was awful. Myself a par putt. Oh, I pushed it way out right. That is absolutely awful. So my drive on number seven has landed right here. I pushed it way out to the right over top of the defending trees and I'm um, just a couple feet out of the brush. So I stayed out and found my ball, but here's the bad news. The bad news is that's the direction I have to go in order to get, I can get back in here in these, in these weeds to get a film of it. I have to go that way in order to get back towards my fairway. So this is gonna be a really tough shot. And I've left myself on a very difficult par five in dire position. So, while we're waiting for the group ahead of us to play, it's a very inconsiderate foursome that won't let my single ass go through. They're very loud and obnoxious and they just don't seem to give a shit that I'm waiting at every hole. So in the process of waiting, we were looking around at the tee box and there was acorns, acorn caps laying everywhere. I told my girlfriend, have you ever made a whistle with one of these? And 
She said, no, how do you do that? So to show everybody how, you, how it's done, you take the acorn cap so that the hollow end is facing you and you place your thumbs over it and put your knuckles together to where there's just a little bit of a V showing. And you curl your fingers together and then over the tops of your knuckles. Hold on, I just had it. It makes a really nice whistle. So there you go, tip of the day. If you're ever in an emergency situation and you need a whistle, find an acorn cap. That's about as good as I can do from here. I hit a seven iron, it's that new apex wedge, or no, or apex iron. I can hit it crisp and clean out of that thick shit, put it right back in the center of the fairway. I should have about a hundred yards shot in. I don't know if we can see it or not, there we go. So that seven iron that I just played from that funky lie out of that rough shit by the, by the weeds over there, I played it with a little bit of a fade around those pine trees. And here's the result. We're right in the center of the fairway. And we've got, let's see here, oh, about 120 yards in, 120, yeah, about 120 even. So that's what we ended up with as a result of hitting a good shot from a nasty position. This is a par five, this will be my third shot, so I still have a legitimate chance at a birdie or par here. either on the edge or we're on. I'm not sure which, we won't know until we get down here. A lot of water flew off of that ball when I hit it. All right, guys. Well, that wraps up the first nine. Um, I played well. I hit my irons well. I like the new Callaway Apex irons I bought. They're worth the investment. Um, I like the new woods that I bought. Worth the investment for sure. Sorry for squinting. I'm looking right into the sun. This is a bad camera angle. I told you I'm horrible at filming shit. Um, anyway, I made one par for nine holes, and that's not like me. I mean, I'm not saying I'm a par golfer. I'm not, but Christ, I usually make four or five pars in a nine-hole round. Uh, one par, all the rest bogeys, and a couple, I think, two double bogeys so I ended up with a 47 uh, for the front for the front nine of Tama Shanner from the tips from the green tees the greens are the farthest tees back on this course uh, thanks for watching this nine sorry I didn't play better hope you got a little bit of entertainment out of it and uh, stick tight because the better I get at this the filming the editing the interesting content if, any, if anything about this is interesting. Uh, the better I get, the better the videos will get. So stick with me, guys. Uh, 
like the video please if you uh if you enjoyed any of the content subscribe if you think that you're going to like some of the stuff that i'm putting on my channel this is just the tip of the iceberg really and uh click the notification button if you want to be notified of new videos thanks again take care